Howdy. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of the Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing. My name is Bat Bertram. I am going to be your only host for today. Uh, in the podcast, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on with the podcast, what's going on with Chris and I, what's going on with the industry. It's a zoo right now. How do you rank sites? So let's go ahead and jump into the meat and potatoes. All right. So I just got back from the mountains. I've been traveling a ton with my family. I have a two and a four-year-old boys. And Chris has also been traveling a ton. He's over in Greece right now, actually. Um, we haven't done an episode of the podcast in a while. And that's because, well, we've been actively podcasting, just not on this um, this podcast. So Chris has been a guest podcast on, I don't know how many, I can't even count, um, talking about longevity. He has another company on supplements. He's also started another podcast co called Living Beyond the Norm. So I'm going to put that in the show notes. I also was recently asked to start a podcast with the head of uh, OGGN, Oil and Gas Global Network. It's a marketing and sales podcast. It's meant to speak to, uh, well, sales managers and people on the, the sales side of it that have maybe a different opinion of marketing. Uh, maybe they, you know, we, we, I just, I don't want to get into it. You can check out the podcast, but essentially uh, uh, sales managers uh, at enterprise companies, especially oil and gas companies view marketing a little bit differently than they view sales. I've been in both. Uh, so I believe marketing and sales should be attached at the hip. Uh, so that's a great podcast if you're looking to sell. Uh, we actually just interviewed uh, International Sales Director of Sadler. They trade uh, Microsoft, Google, everybody like sales methodology. So uh, really, really cool podcast. I'll put that in the show notes. Uh, please check that out. Um, yes, I've also been a little bit quiet on social media uh, and posting on different platforms. I write for Forbes, Entrepreneur, Search Engine Journal, et cetera. And it's because I've been writing a book. <laughs> so uh, I've been writing a book about search, all the stuff that's changing. Um, you know, I've also worked out something with Chris. This is super exciting to be taking over this podcast. And so I've been putting together some plans and ideas about where I want to take the podcast uh, from an algorithm standpoint. We're going to have Chris on next. We're going to do uh, an update and we're going to... Uh, talk a little bit more about the direction and I'll certainly have Chris on future podcast, uh, from a nostalgic standpoint, uh, with the same format. Cause I know a lot of people like that. And when we change that format, uh, we get a lot of, uh, comments uh, about that. So, uh, I am going to actually open up, uh, office hours and I want to hear from you on where you would like for me to take the podcast. I believe Today in the industry, we need to change the formats. I think we need to expand to talk a little bit more about algorithms as a whole, about your whole online presence. Uh, listen to the last podcast. Uh, there was somebody from Google we had on that actually writes the code, um, talks about where things are going or where things are now, because that was a couple of years ago. Um, it's about your brand. It's about your online presence. It's about your digital ID. Uh, that's something I want to cover a lot in the next podcast. Um, so a lot of different things happening. Let me get into for everyone listening, how to rank, cut through all the noise, get into the, the meat of this. Okay. Um, don't focus on everything that's going on. Zero in on eat expertise, authoritativeness, and trust. I would add to that maintenance of your website. So core web vitals, and then they recently added experience. Okay. How are you unique from anyone else? The bar is getting raised with AI. Okay. Uh, but it has not changed what they're looking for a good experience for the user. You want to check all the boxes, but you want to add what makes you unique. Do you have testimonials? Do you have uh, case studies? Do you have a portfolio? Um, you know, what about your about us? Um, that goes into kind of authorship. They rolled it out, rolled it back. I think it still plays into it. Um, you know, your online presence as a whole is certainly going to become more important. And I'm going to go into that uh, certainly in to more detail. I also have a buddy lined up that's uh, speaking on the EO circuits right now on AI. I'm going to have him on, ask him some hard questions, understand how to utilize that. Um, I mean, the game is changing. You know, SEO is a moving target. It always does. 
But if you just focus on the eat, e -E eat, M, I guess, <laughs> experience, expertise, authoritative trust, and maintenance uh, of your website, you will be in good shape. So um, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to update everybody on. I know that this is not uh, a long podcast. Uh, so um, if you're ready to grow your business with the largest, most powerful marketing tool on the planet, the internet, <laughs> uh, reach out to EWR for increased revenue in your business. Um, stay tuned. Please sign up for my office hours. Uh, I'll put those in the show notes. And until the next time, my name is Matt Bertram. Bye-bye for now.